Oi, bruv. I'm Lewis Rossman. Yeah, the right to repair guy. I just wanted to say that piracy is awesome and so is Edward. Yeah, I love Edward and anime. Okay, so before we go forward, I wanted to say thank you, as usual, to our patrons. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Y'all are beautiful. Everyone else, not so beautiful, but still beautiful, just slightly less. Also, on this video tangent that I made, I realized I didn't go exactly into what Lewis was talking about, but they're in kind of in the same vein, where even now I have an issue with Waves audio, where... I've purchased a bunch of Waves audio stuff, but now it doesn't work in Ableton Live 11, and I'm not sure why, and I've seen I'm not the only one. I've tried all these other workarounds to get it working, and I just can't seem to do it, and it should just be plug and play at this point because, you know, you paid for it, you gotta have the service, but I've seen one online for people that have pirated this sort of, the same software, it seems to work just fine. And I think that's also, you know, something to keep in mind while I talk about this video, because I forgot to mention that in the video, so I just wanted to put that up at the beginning, and you guys will get more of the context as the video goes on. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, this is just a black screen, so I'm going to lay something over this. Uh, okay. I have a very special video planned today. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I have all this stuff, like, viewable for you guys. Oh my gosh, let me put all my... Let me put all these in... All my uh, special milk pictures keep... Out of my, I'll delete this from the video, don't worry. You guys won't even know that this happened. I'll just get rid of it from the video. Dude. Oh, I didn't mean to double click it. Shit, why does this keep happening to me? Like, I keep... I make all these... Ugh, I gotta stop making AI milk photos. I don't know this keeps happening to me. It's really frustrating. I don't mean to double click. What keeps... Why does my mouse do that? It's so weird. So today we have a very special video for you guys. I wanted to talk about something that Lewis Rossman had said. I'm going to pause the music here. ...that you see here, and you go to a website that will allow you to download a pirated copy you have not stolen. They have stolen every EULA that they have you sign. And as long as companies are doing everything they can to take away your rights of ownership after you have bought and paid for something, you are morally obligated, I would say, to get back what they stole from you by any non-intrusive, non-violent ways possible. So what does he mean by this? TLDR of the story was Sony had some videos out that people purchased on the Sony platform, uh, Sony PlayStation platform. People had purchased movies that they, you know, thought they owned. And then Sony was like, oh, yikes, <laughs> or not yikes, Oops, psych, uh, we're taking back the, we lost, or I don't know if they lost licensing or they didn't want to repay for licensing or whatever the issue was. The licensing fell through and they were like, okay, well now we gotta take this from our platform and all the purchases that you gave us, we're not giving you a refund. We're just gonna keep your money and you guys no longer have access to these movies. So sorry about that, which is something that happened to me in the same vein. And I, I, I empathize with the people that did this because I normally don't do that anymore. Now I've been like more prone to purchasing uh, Blu-ray DVDs and then putting them on my Plex server and watching my movies that way because of stuff like this. It's kind of frustrating when you purchase a subscription and you know you you don't have access to what you pay for and again this happened to me so very recently oh so not very recently let me start by prefacing this i do pay for what i use i like paying for what i use uh i love it i i, I think purchasing what you use is very important say that up front. I do think that that's important. I think you should, if you're going to use something, you should buy it. I know there's people that can't afford things and that's, you know, whatever. Some people like, there's, there's a lot of, you know, what do you call it? Argument to be made about people that can't afford something. So they pirate it. And then once they do get the money for it, then they, you know, pay for it then. And that, that happens a lot too. That's also something that happens. And I think that's another reason why my dogs should shut up. That's another reason why I think piracy is, it's awful for the people that are stealing, especially if it's a smaller person or smaller artist or whatever that you're stealing from. But if it's someone like a big corporation and they have a bunch of money and they have a bunch of subscribers already. Son, what are you doing? What, what were those pictures on your computer? I was looking through the crack of your door and I saw pictures on your computer. 
Oh, hey, hey, mom. No, I got to get out of the video because I'm making a video. What are you doing in here? Why were there like so many women with gallons of milk? Like, why do they all kind of look like me with, I mean, nicer boobs, of course. Well, thank you, but. Don't spy through the crack of my door. What? What? Stop it. What are you doing? Don't do that. It's kind of weird and cringe. Listen, I don't know. I just, I thought they were cool pictures. I thought it was kind of artistic. I like milk. I mean, that's how I was fed for like, I don't know how long. No, I think it is a little weird that you're noticing all that. But, you know, let's skip past that. It's not that weird. That's how you fed me. Why is that weird? I don't Why think that's weird at all. mayo? All it's not mayo. Keyboard. What do you mean? What is going on in here? No. Under your de that's It's tzatziki mayo. sauce, what whatever it's called, however you pronounce it. What tzatziki is sauce? That? What is tzatziki, going tzatziki on sauce? In here? I don't know. Why does it smell like shit? Because I shit my pants. I Have can't leave this underwear? room. I'm too scared. It smells like shit in here, and I fucking hate it. You need to clean up this room. It's just house. a little bit of shit. I don't know. It doesn't bother me that much. Wait. It probably smells like shit because you came in here, to be honest. I don't know. Maybe it's your upper lip meeting dad's ass. Is that money that we gave you for a GPU? You said you needed that so you can have more monitors. You can I mean, monitor I do have market. stock market pages you up. Tra you're trading, whatever that was about. It's just on a different just monitor AI that you can't see right now. It goes to a different kids. school. What is wrong with you? Why are you being so quiet? Well, I'm trying to be quiet. Your dad doesn't hear us. I still don't agree with it, but I understand the people that need to, you know, get their foot in the door with X, Y, or Z, whatever it is that they're doing, whatever they're paying for. So this happened to me recently. I make music. Those of you know, I was using a compressor of a name that a compression, sorry, compression software that I won't say, or VST rather that I won't say, because in case they sponsor me someday, you know, I want to keep those options open. Uh, I didn't know that they used something called DRM. We'll come back to that later. I was at home one day and my beautiful doggies, my three dogs here, my beautiful boy, Wanger. He's a handsome boy. Yeah, we love him. This was around Christmas time we took this photo. Or I took this photo. He's such a handsome boy. I love him. And our other boy, Mimu, who's unemployed. He's got a little unemployment thing here. He's so handsome and we love him. He's a cutie pie. He's a younger baby. We love him. And then my other doggy, uh, Milkman. I love him so much. He's so cute too. He's got no quatch. He's very sweet and very handsome. And I love him a lot. People think he's creepy. Uh, he lives in an attic. It's fine. He doesn't really come down. But I was cucked by DRM. So my dogs ate my internet and that sucked. My internet went bye-bye. I had no internet. So I was like, okay, you know, whatever. I can still work on music. I go to plug in my, or turn on my, my, my window station and launch up Ableton. And I'm like, cool, let's have a good time. And on my master track, I have the compressor that I was speaking about and it couldn't phone home, which means that there is, is an issue with certain types of DRM where it, as soon as you launch a piece of software, it'll have like another software running beneath it that will phone home or to the server that it came from and say, hey, is this person allowed to use this piece of software? And it will either say, yeah, sure, this is great. Or no, this is pirated software. And now I'm not gonna let you use it. On the flip side though, if you purchase it while you have internet and then your internet is taken away from you by your dogs, then you no longer have access to that piece of software, which is annoying this was me this is literally me as as the kids say this was literally me trying to get work done and i couldn't do anything and it was awful and i was miserable and i went hella soft i had to wait like a week and a half for a technician to come out because it was christmas time and like they don't work on sundays and monday was christmas so it was a holiday so i had to wait from wednesday or no from thursday all the way up until wednesday so six days i had a i guess it's not a week and a half but it felt like a week and a half luckily i had you know, my Plex server and I had some movies and stuff on there for the kids. So we didn't go completely crazy. And I had my phone and we have unlimited data. So I was able to, you know, play some things on my phone. Uh, but at that point I was thinking like, why not become a pirate? Like if I can't, you know, use what I paid for to, I gave them money for a service that I no longer get now because they're like, oh, you can't talk to us. So we're not going to give you the service. I'm like, what if I went camping and I wanted to do that? You know what I mean? What if I was gone out of town and I went to do work and I couldn't do work because of something that I that I rely on and something that I rely on greatly uh, to, to finish a, a piece of work was no longer available to me because I paid for it. But if I pirated it, if I became a pirate and sailed the seven seas and, you know, got it illegally, I wouldn't have this issue. Why are they hurting people that are paying for something? 
that's the biggest issue to me. It's like, sure, there's pirates going to be around for whatever, but if I want to pay for it, I think it's useful and I see the, and I want them to keep developing something for me that I use and I think is great. Why are you punishing me? Why are you, I just shut up and take my fucking money, right? Like, I want to give you my money. I want you to have it. I want you to take it. And you're dis you're putting me at a disadvantage to people that don't pay for it. It doesn't make sense. I don't get it. I don't, I honestly don't understand it. I was like major cucked by this. It was a huge time cut. This was another footage of, of somebody that's actually me. I was this guy. I was this guy. Came home and I saw, you know, my computer with all of its milk out and with its milk mommy that used to be my milk mommy. I come home and I go to work and I can't do work anymore. It's fucked up. It's ridiculous. It's a ridiculous concept. So with that said, I just wanted to say Lewis Rossman was absolutely right about this. Uh, why are you making it harder for people that want to purchase something and give you service when it's easier just to pirate it and not have to deal with other things that could potentially happen in the future. I don't understand it. Again, I'm sorry about all the milk that you might have saw in this video. I didn't mean to post it. Uh, I will be editing it out so you won't even have to worry about it. So you guys won't even see any of that stuff. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it and I appreciate you. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. I'll be back to music stuff, making music and other stuff soon uh by soon i mean probably next week i'll have another video for you guys where i talk about persona 5's game music uh i think if not something else i have some other ideas that might be come out quicker because of the way that i have my new workflow but yeah i love you guys hope you guys have a beautiful day and